this level of sports and today we're going to talk about the Tyson Fury vs Deontay Wilder rematch we're going to talk about the game plan and also talk about Wilder strength uh, in the first round Fury came in uh, aggressive trying to uh, close the gap Wilder miss uh, Wilder tried to come in and uh, KO Fury uh, utilizing his right hand did not work Fury uh, he changed uh, to a new trainer with coming into the rematch uh, he wanted to change a few things and, and uh, apply what he's learned in training and uh, executed in the rematch and in the media in the media interviews he said he's, he was going to KO Wilder which everybody did not believe his game plan was there uh, he was saying he was going to KO Wilder well everybody did not expect him to KO Wilder because of um, Wilder's KO factor and his pre previous fight of Lewis Ortiz I think Lewis Ortiz got the sim not similar style as Fury but he can box and I think 100% sure of this I think it's the same level as Fury Lewis Ortiz um, uh, he KO Wilder KO the uh, Ortiz in the later on but Lewis Ortiz is a bit older while Fury is young uh, and has the height height advantage and the reach advantage as well. Uh, I think in the later rounds, uh, fourth or fifth round, um, uh, Fury uh, hurt Wilder uh, with a uh, knockdown. Um, well, uh, Wilder utilized his lead left hand to block uh, Fury's punch. Uh, Fury. Uh, jabbed and uh, double jabbed and uh, utilized his right, over right hand to KO Wilder which Wilder is usually it's his weakness he utilizes his lead left hand to block which is supposed to keep both hands the right hand uh, coming in so his hands were down all throughout the fight uh, I think because he, also, he was tired but Especially in these championship rounds, you're supposed to expect everything. You're, you're, you're training like eight, twelve week counts. So you're supposed to be expect for every scenario uh, during the boxing fight to prepare and to know um, uh, what what happens during the fight. Um, Fury utilized his jab and his footwork uh, during the fight. He did not stay in one position. Movement around the ring. Um, Jabbing, keeping it simple, fainting, making Wilder think. Wilder's negative is his hands are low. He only utilizes his right hand. Um, he doesn't adjust in his round, so he utilizes the same strategy in each round. It doesn't change his game, uh, his strategy. There was no game plan in the uh, in the rematch. When Wilder jabs, Fury comes in forward and tries to uh, close the gap and make the space less for Wilder. What Wilder should have done, he should have, uh, for example, if, um, when Wilder jabs, a faint jab, so not just jab, do a faint jab where Fury expects, okay, uh, Fury comes in, okay, faint jab, move forward, pivot, and change to another direction, and double jab to the body. Um, you know, go start from the body, go up top, and then in the later rounds, KO Fury. That's what he should have done. But he was very slow, tired as well in the early rounds. Uh, he utilized, Fury utilized the clinch, which he learned from the Klitschko fight. As Klitschko is the master of clinching. Um, you know, Fury gained the experience from the Klitschko fight and applied it in the rematch. Uh, he was f as well, the positive thing of Fury was he was very patient and smart. He didn't go all in and just go, or certified as go in and just try to kill the fighter he went patient jab you know jab to the body make Wilder tired clinch he knew when to move him forward find a weakness of Wilder utilize his over right hand you know uh, focus on the basics of boxing jabbing using footwork fainting head movement and it worked he killed Wilder in the seventh round he, he's the new WBC champion of the world and you know um you know, the game plan worked. He changed trader. Uh, Wilder was mainly focused on power, using his lead left lead left and right hand to knock down opponents, which it did not work with. It works. It probably works with other opponents, but not Fury, you know. Um, what's next for Wilder? I think he should take a rest. 
probably Tigaraz to activate his rematch clause and probably uh, come in in the third fight. I think that's the only opportunity opportunity for him to get the belts. Um, if he waits and gets a tune off fight and then a fight of fear, I don't think um, there's an opportunity to get the belts. I think Fury first age is probably going to happen. So I think Wilder's supposed to take take the rematch and basically fight Fury in the third fight with a different game plan. I think also it's a chain trainers. Do not stay in the same trainer. Because in the first fight, he's relying on power. The second fight, he was relying on power. There was no game plan. Fury, I think it should change. Do not keep the same game plan. Because Wilder's going to come in and utilize, utilize boxing. So he's not going to... I'd be surprised if he'll be utilizing the same game plan. Only relying on power. But I think he'll come in in the third fight with boxing. IQ to adjust uh, in the third fight and uh, to ch uh, change his game plan and strategy as well. So let's we'll see. Um, as well as Age of His Fury will be a big mega fight. Uh, both UK uh, fighters who have uh, belts, we can they could probably go with a unification uh, about uh, in the future. And